What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I wanted to do a build break breakdown of my AAP01. Uh, I posted a post a couple days ago asking if y'all wanted to see a breakdown or not, and y'all said yes. So we about to do a breakdown, people. All right, getting started. I have a couple parts that you can't see that's on my desk right now that I'm just gonna go over one by one of the stuff that I changed. Um, and then we're gonna actually disassemble the pistol and then we're gonna take a look inside of it But let's go ahead and check it out real quick So as you can see murder Inc. That's my speed off team that I'm a part of uh, Check us out. Yeah, you got the red on black You got my favorite skull um, tape And it just looks super good honestly um, There is no BB in the chamber also, there's no mag in the gun. Pull the trigger, nothing happens, as you can see. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and depart. I mean, let's go ahead and um, look at all the parts that I have changed on the gun. So, the biggest, the note, the biggest and the noticeable thing about this is that you notice the um, the red accents on the bolt. This actually does lock back. Um, it's modeled after the uh, Ruger. Don't mind all the white stuff on here. Let's just say somebody made a mess. It wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm joking. But that's just um, white lithium grease. I ran out of silic silicone oil. So um, that's the best thing I had at the moment. But yeah, so this is the stock um, boat that comes with the pistol. Um, you can see it's it's beat up here. It still works fine. Everything works flawlessly. I just wanted more performance. This is actually lighter. Um, this is lighter than this. This is yeah. This this has some bit of weight to it. Um, I wish I can actually measure it so y'all can see how much lighter it is. And I just realized I'm actually looking at my screen, which I should be looking at my lens. I'm sorry. I like. It, it, it's, it's weird for me. I don't really record myself too often, but um, Yeah, so this is the first thing I changed For this lighter bolt um, Next thing I changed which is the Weldos. Uh, so he calls this the buff short short stroke um, Which is the Weldos short stroke kit. You can probably see that right there But that's all it is just like spacers that goes right in this portion. It just basically limits the, the travel of this bolt. I have it to the point where I can't pull it back any further. I still have that lock back feature. I can make it where it's in more, but like I said, I want that lock back feature. I have the little snap nozzle as well. These little springs are for the nozzle. I have the snappy, snappy boy recoil spring as well. Next thing that I'm just randomly picking up, I have the um, maple leaf bucking. I went with the 60 degree bucking. You can see it right in there. That's that yellow thing. That's what holds the BB place. I went with 60 degree because I felt like that was a good medium to be at for everything that I do, play outdoors, indoors, uh, winter, uh, summer. Next thing I changed out. So this is the firing pin that I changed out and this is also the hammer that I changed to the steel one don't mind the white lithium, white lithium grease it's a bit much only because I was like full auto on the pistol earlier I don't have a baggie for the trigger but this is the stock trigger it was very mushy and it had a lot of play in it swapped that out for I don't remember who makes this swapped it out for that for this one, I think it's cow cow as well. It has a safety in the middle, but the safety is not even connected, so I can just grab the side of it and pull it, and it will still fire. Um, so this has a safety already on the two sides. So like right here, you push this in, it'll push out on this side, and that's your safety. And then in order to disengage it, you push this in, and it uh, pushes out on this side. But safety doesn't work because of how short I have the trigger. So it's literally no safety on this gun at all. <laughs> I got rid of both systems. The one on the trigger, got rid of. <laughs> the one that's factory, got rid of. But you can see how much play it is in there. How much play is in the trigger, but 
Pull it. Hold on. Let's do it right here. Pull it. That's the wall. And it fires. Reset. Oh. Uh, pull the trigger. Fire. Resets right here. The charger's gun is you just pull back on that. And boom. So on like normal guns, taking the mag out. It won't fire. Airsoft gun. Need gas in the mag. But yeah. So same thing kind of here. Safety's in the trigger without pulling the safety that's in the trigger it won't allow you to pull back just as mushy the old trigger is this and that's the uh, trigger on this but this trigger I like it so much better there you go so we just got finished talking about the hammer a little bit this is the stock hammer that broke typically on these AAP 01s your hammer will um, break first and then your firing pin will break typically if it hasn't already then you might want to change it because sooner or later or i have that part somewhere just laying around because it will break eventually also swapped out my barrel my inner barrel it's a 6.03 millimeter barrel same length as factory 129 millimeter barrel so this is the stock black inner barrel the stock bucking still in good shape i didn't really use it too much I kind of upgraded the gun pretty early. Yeah, I think I, I think I only played like one game with this pistol while I was stocked. I want to put everything listed in the description. Not where I got it, but just all my parts that I used. So y'all can go ahead and check that out yourselves. But that's it as far as mods. The sights looks pretty damn good on this thing. You probably can't even see it. When I do run this pistol, typically I use green gas. But if I'm not using green gas, then I have a... Uh, tank I run this tank with my primary adapter primary adapter has an mp5 mag attached to it so you get 85 rounds in this and you get about maybe 20 in the adapter it holds about 20 in the adapter and then when you push this in it combines it you put this in the gun like so and now you have like a standoff you're not running the primary adapter Sometimes I choose not to. I'll run the extended mag. All right, we're gonna disassemble it now. But it's two screws right there. Two screws that you remove, and then the bolt uh, will come out. Man, I'm having so many camera issues right now. For some reason, my camera keeps overheating, and I don't understand why. I haven't even been recording that long. Back to what I was saying. I have the CTM bolt. Off. You can see the Weldos Custom short stroke spring, nozzle spring. You probably can't see, but it's right in there. That's what keeps your nozzle going back, returning. So as you can see, it's a lot of tension on there. Full auto switch is here, right underneath it. And that's about it as far as the pistol. There's nothing else really in here. That's pretty much it. That's the that's the whole build. But go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and share it. Liked it. Go ahead and comment below. Uh, what else should I do to this pistol or are you interested in picking one up because it is only a hundred bucks you can get a really good pistol for a hundred bucks be prepared to spend probably 50 on a hammer because this will break eventually I give you about maybe 500 to a thousand rounds and that pit like this hammer will break especially on full auto if you full auto a lot this pistol it will break um, but go ahead and comment if you do got one or if you're thinking about picking one up like I said uh, it's a really good pistol I think it's better than a high kappa for the price um, but that's gonna be it peace out please don't forget to share this video like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're new all right see you on the next one. what's going on YouTube welcome back to another brand new video here perfect